This is going to be the big story this week. We're watching a uh, area of low pressure that is expected to move northward. Now, uh, the actual area of low pressure is right here. This is the enhanced satellite picture. Much more on this in one moment, but I'll give you a little local weather first. This is a beautiful picture. Beautiful sunset on the first day of fall here in South Florida from Deborah Harsh. And right now we are tracking some coastal showers pushing on shore. There's one uh, a decent little down between Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce just moving over Hutchinson Island and from time to time we are going to see these brief streamer showers push on shore. Temperatures right now low 80s near the Palm Beach County coastline and inland just a little bit cooler with temperatures in the upper 70s. Now overnight we'll continue to see these brief passing showers on the easterly breeze and at times we could see some heavy rain but most of that staying offshore and then Monday the trend will be for limited activity and what we see uh, will be very erratic and sporadic in nature and then Tuesday fairly dry but look what happens on Wednesday we start to see our moisture increasing Wednesday morning and it looks to continue on and off throughout the day it's all moving in from the south and it's moving in uh, from the deep tropical moisture associated with what we're watching in the tropics near the northwestern Caribbean Sea we're also watching a wave just just about to move off the coast of Africa. This one a 60% chance of developing in the next seven days. So long time to watch that one. This one located here just off the tip of the Yucatan and you can see our Central America 80% chance of development in the next seven days as it lifts north and it is expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now a very disorganized system. Maximum winds only at 25 miles per hour moving north at five miles per hour. And the spaghetti plots have it moving northward generally toward the panhandle region they have shifted a little bit eastward but again the consensus is more maybe towards the big bend region but as we know things can change which is why the entire first alert weather team will be tracking this for you uh, each and every day and uh, letting you know any updates now notice this this is our precipital water map but now this is not rain it just shows you where we have the deep atmospheric moisture so this is the moisture moving in associated with 97 L and you can see where it takes it into the Gulf and then it moves it to the north and northeast so a likely landfall again somewhere across the panhandle but a lot remains to be seen but notice we're in that deep moisture tail so our rain chances increase toward the end of the week and they look to stay high right through the weekend as it stands right now but that's still seven days away however we are under a risk of excessive rainfall once we get into Wednesday for western Palm Beach County then that extends into the remainder of Palm Beach County and so our rain chance is looking to be anywhere from about two to four inches generally right now Monday through Friday again uh, we'll be updating this throughout the work week Here's your seven day forecast temperatures generally in the upper 80s and there you can see rain chances really increasing Wednesday through Friday. So enjoy the next two days.